Now, uh, on behalf of the DAP, I'd like to extend my deepest condolences uh, to the family of our departed former Secretary General, uh, Saudara Kakim Hock, who passed away at 6.10 just now. <coughs> Saudara Kim Hock was a devoted and good SG. He led the party during our darkest hours. After he suffered a heavy defeat in the 1999 general elections. Um, we feel uh, sad at his uh, sudden passing, even though we know that he was in coma for three days. And um, has uh, party leaders. His passing is not just a loss, we believe, to the party, but also to the country. I have known Kurt since university days for many years. He was a student leader, he was a party leader, and most important of all, he was a people's leader. He has done his part for both the party and the country. And even though he was battling cancer, he fought the battle with his usual courage and determination. Uh, we feel, of course, uh, the sense of bereavement and we want to express our deeper sympathy and condolences to his family. Uh, rest in peace, uh, Kirky Hop. We will remember you. Hari ini saya nak ucapkan takziah bagi pihak DAP atas pemergian bekas Seksa Agung DAP Seorang Ke Kim Hock yang baru meninggal dunia pada pukul 6.10 petang tadi Beliau adalah seorang pemimpin yang bukan sahaja amat prihatin tapi seorang pemimpin yang baik yang memimpin DAP semasa DAP menghadapi kekalahan yang teruk pada 19 uh, pilihan raya umur 1999 dan telah uh, memberikan hikmat yang besar kepada parti kehilangan beliau bukan sahaja kehilangan kepada DAP tapi juga satu kehilangan kepada negara dan saya uh, menyampaikan simpati dan juga uh, takziah kepada keluarganya dan uh, tentulah uh, kita tidak akan melupakan sumbangannya apa yang dia capai akan sentiasa diingati oleh ahli-ahli dan pemimpin di AP Oh, ini saya tak perlu sentong tang dan kuat jingfu家人之爱 而且非常专心,非常爱心,同时是一个好的领袖。他不是单单对行动党是一个损失,也是国家的一个大损失。我们永远会记得他,他的贡献,他的付出。当然,我们会继续要看行动党领袖而党员的愿望。<咳> 
，也要跟自由的马来西亚能够完成。谢谢。Okay, any questions? Just to add, Kirk uh, was a two-term MP. Uh, MP for Pasir Pinji from 1990 to 1995, and MP for Kota Melaka 1999 to 2004. 1995 to 1999. 1995 to 1999. No, he was an uh, assemblyman uh, in 1986, and then after that, in the uh, 1995, he lost elections, yeah. and then in 1999, he was MP for Kota Melaka. So he was first assemblyman in 1986 to 1990, assemblyman for Durian Daun. 1990 to 95, MP for Pasipinji. And then he lost in 95. In 1999, he was MP for Kota Melaka until 2004. No, uh, I'll be going afterwards, lah. Oh, okay. Going afterwards. Then after that, we'll, I'll come back again tonight. But I'll, I'll be going afterwards. But my colleagues will be here. I have to go down. Uh, he's not only my my former AG; he's also my friend. Okay. Any questions? I'm so sorry for your loss, but do you mind if I ask a question that's not related to this? Like what? Yeah. Uh, Pass had a PC earlier, and they are actually in support of unilateral conversion, and they want ADA to be removed, and they agree to it being removed because they think it's unconstitutional. So, what is your thoughts on that? No, we, we feel that the federal constitution provide, protects the sanctity and unity of a family. I think you should look at this from a compassionate point of view. We want to ensure that the rights of the father and mother are both protected. Not just either the father or the mother, both parents, not one single parent. So I think you should look at this issue from a point of love, from a point of family, from a point of the kids. And I think if you do not take a compassionate view, then you are just breaking apart families. And I do not think we should break apart families. So I think let us look at this uh, uh, issue from the point of uh, the family unity, <coughs> not to break apart families, not to tear apart the child from the parent. So I think this is not just a very simple issue as they make it out to be. This is a very complicated issue. And it must dealt with sensitively. I think we should look at this uh, from a point of the rights of both parents. Don't just break up that parent, don't just break up that family, both parents. Let both parents who have equal rights to the child, let them have a right to decide. And that's, that's, why, that's why we stand. We stand together with the right of family, both father and mother to decide. Together. Not unilaterally. Okay, thank you. Right. I'm sorry, I do not want to add any more. I hope you understand. Okay, thank you.